Hello everyone, uh, my name is George Hajirin Priu. I'm a PhD candidate at the University of Cyprus. Uh, the topic of my presentation is uh, pavement anomalies detection and classification using entropic texture segmentation and support vector machines. This is the overview of the presentation. Uh, I will first uh, talk about the background, the objective of the research, and then for the methodology, the experimental implementation, re the results, and finally, conclusions and future work. A few words about background, about the background in pavement condition evaluation. Uh, as you already know, uh, roads affect uh, humans' prosperity since they contribute to productivity and they serve uh, mobility. If we have a disruption in a roadway network, this might have some undesirable effects such as the rerouting of vehicles or the decrease of productivity. Uh, and uh, the continuous uh, pavement monitoring can prevent this situation, uh, providing transportation authorities with information uh, regarding the condition status. Uh, usually this process has uh, three main stages. Uh, data collection, defects identification, and defects evaluation. Uh, transportation authorities uh, detect some uh, specific types of defects, such as uh, cracking, potholes, or raveling. This process is usually conducted manually by trained uh, raters, but this process is uh, time consuming and subjective since it depends on the experience of the experience of the raters. And when it is automated, uh, it is very expensive, expensive uh, since these vehicles, the dedicated vehicles, are uh, uh, have a very high cost to be operated, so transportation authorities cannot really use them for the whole network. And uh, researchers have already identified this, uh, this situation and they focus on the utilization of crowdsourced and low-cost technologies. Uh, but uh, they usually focus on the automated detection of only one or two pavement defects without developing a fully automated and integrated framework. Our objective is to, to assist the detection of any type of pavement surface defect using videos. And more specifical, specifically, we aim to separate frames that include any type of uh, defect and those that do not include any type of defect. Uh, and then as a next uh, step to prove that the classification of uh, defect is also feasible, we classify the pavement defect of patches. As Patches is this thing that you can see in the pictures. It's a piece of pavement surface that it has been removed and replaced. Despite the fact that it's a maintenance activity, it is on also considered uh, as a pavement defect since it never restores uh, pavement to its initial condition. Every transportation agency detects and measures uh, patches to evaluate the situation of the pavement. So the first uh, phase of our method is uh, using entropic texture segmentation to, as I said before, to classify images that include anomalies and images that do not. Uh, entropy could be defined as a statistical measure of randomness, and an entropy filter can characterize the texture by providing information about the local variability of the intensity values of pixels. Uh, smooth, uh, smooth areas uh, usually have uh, the range of values in the neighborhood around a pixel will be a small value and the opposite for uh, rough texture areas. These are the main steps of the process. We, we use a collected uh, pavement video. We convert this video into some uh, frames. Then we, uh, we convert the frames into grayscale uh, to decrease the processing time and because pavement the color is usually in gray so we don't really use the color information and um, yeah so if the image entropy is above a threshold value then uh, this image contains uh, anomalies on the 
on the on your right you can see how the algorithm work uh, num a is the initial frame then b is the texture frame and c uh, shows uh, we uh, divide the image into small pixel blocks uh, the wider the color uh, means that the texture is uh, rougher and uh, probably there is a, a defect in this area this this was the first phase of the method the second one is uh, using these images that we separated from the previous phase we try to using svm we try to detect the pavement patches to classify pavement patches so we use support vector machines which is a discriminative classifier and uh, can identify patterns it works pretty well for two group uh, classification problems like our problem it is mainly divided into the uh, training and testing uh, stages uh, in our case the SVM is uh, is trained by feature vectors generated from 20 by 20 uh, pixel blocks which have information about the intensity histogram and these two texture descriptors and our output is uh, block classification images classification and patch area measurement when we say uh, block classification every every block in the frame is uh, classified as belonging to a patch or not and then when we say image classification we take a message that uh, this image include any part of patch or does not uh, this figure illustrates the the process the, on the left you can see the training stage and then the testing stage uh, as I said, we use the intensity histogram and the texture descriptors for every block and uh, then ground truth to train the SVM. The testing, uh, the testing process is similar, but at the end we, we do the blocks classification, some morphological operations such as opening and closing, and then we have image classification and patch area quantification. Uh, a few more information to help you understand how the algorithm works uh, image classification when we set a threshold and if the connected patch blocks are above this threshold then it means that the image include a, a patch also the patch uh, area measurement uh, we knew the resolution of our frames so we knew what uh, area a pixel represents so if you know the area for one pixel then you know the area that the uh, 20 by 20 pixels represent and then if you know the connected uh, blocks you can uh, find the, the area of the patch uh, we use the GoPro camera position on the back of a car and a smartphone camera position inside of the car and uh, we collected 200 images for each uh, method and from the same road sectors so that we can compare the two uh, procedures we use uh, these metrics which are very usual in computer vision accuracy precision and recall they are based on true positive false positive true negatives and false negatives on your left you can see how the results are presented by our code and with yellow color of course it is the area of the patch and blue color is the area of the healthy pavement uh, after comparing our results we know that the uh, positioning a camera outside of the car is better we have slightly better accuracy maybe because when we have the camera inside the car it is affected by the cleanness of the window We believe that our algorithm has some strong advantages such as uh, the detection of multiple patches in only one image or the detection of proportions of patches when the whole patch is not included in the image. Uh, we measure the patch area for the first time and we are planning to increase the data set to achieve a better training and to see how the accuracy will change. Uh, also we are planning to classify some other types of pavement defects and uh, use some alternative means of uh, collecting the videos such as drones or motorcycle helmet cameras thank you for your attention